Alright, welcome to the long-awaited part two. Now, if you have any song requests, click the links below. Also, check out Papa Stash Blues. There's a lot of this kind of stuff on that other channel. Again, that's Papa Stash Blues. Tons of artists like this, more traditional blues, rock blues. You know, I'm trying to categorize stuff a little better for people. So, also, sign up for that. Click the links on that channel for requests. If you go to the actual channel, there's other links to all the other stations. Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, let's get into this song. It's awesome riffs. Very cool for any kind of playing. You can totally pick up a ton of riffs. So let's get to it. So, part two. Now, this is the chorus, pseudo chorus, whatever, right? So, we're going to do our old faithful thumb major chord G, starting on the G. We're going to hit three hits of that, three hits of G sharp, and then we're going to slide into the next one. So, we got. Right? That last one's, you're going to go a down on the G upstroke on five and five of the B and E. So we got. And then I go up, down, up. And then on the next downstroke, I'm going to catch just the G string and then pull it off. So I'm sliding down and then I go open G and then I hammer onto one followed by the open E. So I'm going to hit the open E again and do the ham same hammer on open G the first fret. So we got Now, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide into fret number 2. I'm just going to play the E string second fret. So I slid in on the G. So that's. And then what I'm going to do from there is slide into that G major shape again, but not the whole chord, just these same two strings. Right? So I'm sli sliding from two to four on the G. And then I'm gonna catch the third fret E. So. so what I do there, so we got So it's So what I do is I slide in on the G and then I'm pulling off five to three. Hit the G again. G being this on the E. Again, so that's twice. And then this time I'm gonna hit the third fret E and hammer on and pull off the fifth fret. So we're at. And then back into a slide like this. So after you do the slide from four to six on the G, catch the fifth fret of the E. Hit the fifth fret again. Back down to our same E thing we did. Same kind of vibe on the second fret. Now we're going to slide back into that G. So we're going to hit three. Just like the last one that we did. And then we're going to slide back into that A. So what we did there is we slid into the A, four to six. And then I'm going to slide all the way up to nine and I'm going to hit it. So 
once I slide into nine and nine, G and E, I'm just gonna. Right? We'll go down all the way down to the seventh fret. So it's nine, eight, seven. Then I'm gonna go down to F sharp minor down here and just hit it once. <laughs> followed by a D chord on the fifth fret, five and seven. I'm gonna hit five, seven, seven, that's D and G right there. And then I'm gonna go with my first finger and I'm gonna bar seven and seven. And I'm gonna hammer on to the A string, ninth fret, but I'm gonna let that seventh fret of the D ring. And then come down into an A chord like this. And that'll be the next part. So we got So what we're gonna do there is that A chord again, and then we're gonna go. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit the G string and the B string. So you're gonna hammer on with your pinky. I'm gonna hit the G and the B, and I'm gonna hammer on with my pinky. So we're hammering on, we're already on the sixth fret. I'm hammering on to the seventh and pulling off, and then I'm gonna hit again, which is this A right here. So we got. All right. Now the next part's kind of tricky. It's a pull off. You're going to go right like this. So I go, yeah, a little plane. Woohoo. All right. So we got. And then what we're going to do is I've just flattened out this finger and I'm covering from the D down and I pull off from the 10th fret to the 7th fret and then I hit the G 7th fret. So we go. So that's. And he actually hits an open G there, so it's. Now these are just hammer ons. And that open G. And then we're going to go right down to that D chord, so it's. Now that next part, just go straight down the D chord from the A to the G. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this finger right here and I'm going to bar the D and the G. I'm going to do that same kind of thing where I let the G ring out, but I'm going to hammer on and pull off the ninth fret. So it's seven to nine. And then I'm going to skip up a group of strings and just hammer on to this one. Same kind of thing where I'm hammering on to the lowest string, which in this case is the A, and I'm letting the D ring open. So it's. And then I'm going to go back down to my G shape and then back into A. So you just go up one fret at a time G, G sharp, A. So I go E, D, G, D, same thing on the next string. And this is a different riff. It starts back with A and that gets you back into another verse. So, another verse, really similar, same chords, right? Already gone through it. So, there's just little differences. So, when we get to that first A, 
So you're gonna hit the bass, and then what I do is you can either pluck it with your fingers, or whatever you wanna do, pick it. Sometimes it's easier for me to pluck it, but anyways, it's five and five, and then you're gonna go and just hammer on to the seventh fret of the B string, letting the E5 ring open. Then go to what looks kinda like a D shape, right? And you're gonna hammer on from four to six on the G while hitting the fifth fret B. And then that gets you straight to the E chord. So that's an A. And then hit the E on the D string, second fret. And then you're gonna hammer on to the suspended and then pull off, which is the G string, second fret, hammer on, pull off, back to the E on the D second fret, and then, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the root, and then you're gonna hit the root again. And then you're gonna go back up to that A. So all together we got. And then here. And now we're gonna go back up to the A. So all you're gonna do is gonna go seven to six. Three times. One, two, three. And then hit the root note. Back to the A chord. And now you're gonna do some more of those, you know, classic. So you hit the A again. And now we're gonna go to the A and the D. So you're gonna hammer on onto this, uh, the ninth fret, so it's seven and seven on the A and the D. So you hammer onto it and then hit again, and then you go up another set of strings to the E and the A, and just hammer on nine and seven and seven. So we got, or however you wanna pick it. You know, his, his uh, when, if you watch you know him do this, his th he uses his thumb a lot, he uses his pick, you know, so what you can do is just experiment what works well for you. I suggest watching live clips and really watch the rhythm, you know, it's really a trademark of the style, right? But it's kind of his own thing, so, you know, find out what works best for you. Anyways. Just kind of outline the E chord now, no real riff. F sharp minor. So what you're gonna do is hit the uh, G and the B. Hammer on to the fourth fret. Pull off and then go D and G. Hammer on to the D fourth fret. And now you're gonna go to the D chord five and seven. So we got. This one you're gonna go, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to seven and nine, go down to the G string seven, then you're gonna go to seven and nine again, D string seven, and then you're gonna slide from seven to nine on the A. So we got. on the D and the G, hammering on seven to nine. Back to the A and D, hammering on to the A nine. So we got. And I'm sorry, back to A. And then do what we first did. That little hammer on with the pinky onto the seventh fret. So you're on six, hammer on seven and pull off. Hit the root note again, which is the seventh on the A. And then you're gonna go up to that B minor chord and just pull off. So what I do is I use my thumb for the root note. I flatten my first finger across the D, the G, and the B, and I just pull off from 10 on the B. And then you're gonna go down to the G. So go down to where the D chord is, 
and you're gonna go put your fourth or your fourth or your ring finger on the fourth fret take it off and then put it on the root note of the G which is the fifth fret D string So then this one, you go back to the D. So, up stroke, and then hammer on to the ninth on the A and the D. Same riff on the A, up to the B, into the chorus. Right, now I know that's a lot. I'm trying to shove it all in there in a quick lesson, so rewind. You know, it's uh, it, it's tricky, but just remember, memorize the chord progression first, and then, you know, work out all the cool little riffs in between. You know, okay, here's the F sharp minor, here's the couple variations on the A, the D, you know, and get all that stuff under your belt and then tackle the song slowly. You know, it took me a long time to get this song down. So, you know, don't expect to get something like this overnight, you know, and, and get the feel down. You know, just practice one part over and over until you get it down. Okay, so chorus number two is really just the same thing as the first chorus, same riffs. Only difference is you're gonna, you're gonna add more back and forth pedaling between the two strings on the A. And then you're gonna go, right, more on the E as well. So it's really just back and forth. Same thing on the G. Back up. Up to the A. That's the only difference. You don't step down. So let's go over to that last little riff before we get into the solo. Same kind of little, you know, progression, and then into the. Um, go into the solo. So let's get that last part before the solo. All right, and that's really it until the solo. So what you're gonna do is that's just the end of the chorus part where it goes down to the F sharp minor. And then we're gonna go to the D twice and then you're gonna go. So what you do is it's a real quick, and then you're gonna hit the root note, and then down to the A. So it's the same kind of riff, D and G, hammering on seven to nine, and then the root note, and then up to the A. So use your thumb. Same riff we've been doing. And then scoot with your thumb. So then you go root, root. And do that same kind of riff where you're going seven to 10. Hammering back onto the root, D and G, seven to nine. And then you're gonna go to the D. G sharp, A solo. That, my friends, is the rhythm part to this tune. I hope you enjoyed it. So, one other thing. The Blues Channel. I have Papa Stash Blues. That's gonna have a lot of this kind of stuff and a lot of uh, you know other great big time blues artists. So make sure you check out Papa Stash Blues too. There might be some other stuff from this artist and a lot of other big time guys. I'm gonna start posting a lot of the blues blues rock oriented stuff over there as well. So make sure you sign up for that one. Yeah, all right, thank you so much again, as always for watching. I totally love doing this stuff for you guys. Subscribe to the other channels, check out the channels, get the links, blah, blah, blah. I say it all the time, but 
Helps me out a ton when you guys support me. Awesome. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, enjoy. I hope you like it. All right. Catch you next time. Support the artist.